Welcome to Buzz, Indiana's Underground Business Voice. My name is Tony Selzer. We're here in the Bob International Headquarters for Rainmakers. I've got Han Soini in the uh, in the office. Got a new role, new title, Vice President of Technology with uh, Indie IT Professionals. Kind of a cool Rainmaker story here. So, Hans, what is going on? What is I? I you mean obviously Indie IT Professionals? Tom uses extreme creativity in coming up with a name for the company, right? That's correct. Yep. And and he came up with Indie IT Professionals. So. Is it that simple? You guys do IT for indie? Yes, we do. We do. Um, we take care of small, medium-sized businesses. Okay. Um, we take care of anything and everything that they would need. Um, we are basically a consultant for them. Okay. We provide other services for them, but that's our main role is to make sure that they are taken care of and they know everything that is available to them at all times. Well, let me let me try to translate that from techie because you you guys do our stuff and so we have a network and infrastructure here and you guys. Um, um, when something doesn't work on the computer, we call you and you come over and you make it work and we're very happy for that. That is correct. And then you've also kind of put us on a proactive approach where you're monitoring our system. So you're also doing that from afar, right? Yes, from How, a remote location. So you're remote accessing this stuff and making sure that you're also preventing to come out here too often, right? So That's correct. We, we would save you money by, by looking at your systems from a remote location. So you that we get notified as soon as something goes wrong so we can take a proactive result to that so that you're not spending unnecessary money that you don't need. And one of the things that, um, you, one of the ways you do that is you bill differently, right? You give somebody a package, right? That, that they, is correct. And it's, a, what is that, a managed services contract? Yeah, it's a managed services contract. It's on a monthly basis. Okay. Um, we have separate fees for um, a computer and the servers. Okay. Um, so it's, it's, it's very, uh, very beneficial for the customer to look at that, um, especially when they have a large amount of computers. Um, it, it's it's very very helpful for them. So, so Hans, I got to put you on the spot here, man. What is the what gives you the title VP of Technology? How'd you get to here? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I take care of um, pretty much all their um, their business development and customer relationships. That's uh -huh. one thing that I'm I'm really good at. Is making sure that the customer is okay. If there's any issues at all, they I, I'm available 24 hours a day. And where's your technology background come from? Um, I was in the military. I've been prior military, military intelligence for four years. Okay. Um, got out of there. Um, did some work down in Atlanta, Georgia, for uh, some nightclubs that they had in IT stuff. Uh, oh yeah, most definitely. And they're up in the latest stuff. Um, and then I. Worked for the, one of the largest privately held companies here in the United States, um, Fry's Electronics. Oh, wow. I was acting department manager over there. Um, and then I moved to um, being a partner in my own company, uh -huh. um, which was another local Indianapolis company here. Got out of that. Got out of that and moved on to my own thing. And then me and Tom started talking a little uh -huh. bit, and we thought it was a really good uh -huh. um, mesh for both of us, and we worked very well together. It's I think it's one of the great stories out of Rainmakers is that, you know, you've – you see the potential to add more value as a sum rather than its parts. Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, Rainmakers is is one of those where it's it's a um, a group of people really trying to help you out. Mm -hmm. And me and Tom, it, it it's it is a perfect thing for uh, um, the Rainmaker mantra. I guess you could say yeah. is that. Um, that we work very well. Yeah. I mean, together, and yeah. it, it's it, it's it's something. If I didn't wasn't be a rainmaker, I would have never met Tom. Yeah. And we work very well together, and I'm very happy about that. I appreciate you saying that, and edifying us. But I just what I think it's really what it, it testifies to a couple things. A, the way you guys do business. I mean, you both do business the same way. You you're out there. You're building relationships. You understand that this relationship is going to take time, and you're going to get to the point where you. Um, uh, can convert that into dollars, but you have to have that as a strategy. That has to be your come from. That has to be what you're doing every day. And I think that's why it's easy for uh, to refer you. I know Tom uh, got rocked a couple times. Just be, it, you gotta, you know, when somebody's computers go down, their business goes down. And if you don't, if you don't come with that sense of urgency, then then in, in, especially for a small business, if they don't feel that, then you're you're going to lose clients. Yes, and, very and, much so. and so even though. You understand how to do stuff that I would never even bore myself with, um, just because I don't want to. Or have, and I've got guys like you. I mean, it's that relationship in the end that allows us to feel good about referring you and getting and helping you find new clients. So I think that's why you guys came together. Yep, most definitely. It's so all about relationships. What is your? What, if you got one chance, what does your ideal client look like? What do they look like? Um, right now, we're looking for small uh, manufacturers, okay. uh, professional services. 
um, so lawyers, um, mm -hmm. doctors, doctors in the in the matter of um, not professional doctors, but like maybe chiropractors, okay. um, audiologists, things to that matter, the okay. professional services. Those are the main things that we're really looking at. And Those three constantly. channels are really good fits for you. Yeah, most definitely. Yes, okay. yes. What's the one last thing you'd like to tell everybody on Rainmaker Land? What's the one thing you'd like to challenge to do more of in 2010? Um, build relationships. I mean, that's a big thing is, is build your core group and, and it will come out positive in mm -hmm. the end. It always has and always will. And Rainmakers has done that for me for years now and I will never forget that. Well, we appreciate you, brother. Be more, Thank serve you. more. Most definitely. You've been buzzed.